Thank you so much for watching Tomohisto Music. So I don't edit anything, so I have to do everything by hand. So <laughs> all handmade, right? Okay, so thank you so much for asking me a lot of questions and requests. This is one of your requests. Actually, a lot of people ask me over the year too. Um, okay, how to mix major and minor pentatonic together? And I always thought, well, minor scale is really blue scale, and major pentatonic is really, you know, um, chord tone, the triads. Okay, but sometimes I have to follow language that you use. So let's say, let's mix major pentatonic and minor pentatonic. How? Okay, so this song, People Get Ready, the famous by Curtis Mayfield, and of course, Jeff Beck made it famous, and it, please watch Al Green singing this one on YouTube, amazing. So this is one of my signature video, three levels. So I'm gonna show you introduction, chord progression, and melody, where we can mix major and minor. So let's work on it. Okay. So the beginning, right? Okay. So so many information. First of all, this is a key of D. Okay. Now use your first finger in th seventh fret. So this is a D major triad. And this is second inversion. Only we have three inversions: root position, root third fifth, and first inversion, third fifth root. So this one called second inversion, and fifth root and third. Now, like that. So now this one, you see, chugo shide. So here. D, so this is really C form of G, first inversion, Th third, fifth, right? And here it's a little tricky. This one, it's E minor triads. E major triads, the first inversion, like, looks like this. And this is minor, flat three. So, you know. First inversion, D. So now this one, fifth, you know, fifth fret on sixth string, and um, fourth string, fifth fret, and third string. 4th fret, 2nd string is about 3rd fret. So root, flat 7, ninth and 11th. This is really good, good for exercise, yeah. So I can exercise and teach guitar. So this one, sort of major pentatonic and triad. Root, third, that's a fifth, six. This is my own arrangement. So this one called B minor 11. Okay, B minor 11. 7th, 7th, 7th and 5th fret. Root plus 7, plus 3 and 11. B plus 7, flat 5. Root plus 7, major 3rd, flat 5. Then, blues. More like A9.
like an entertainer, you know? Okay, so that's the one. And then, by the way, I'm using this amp called Pro Reverb, 1965 Pro Reverb. Speaker is this Eminence, I think Texas something. I forgot name. Anyway, so more like a blues, good blues, you know. Um, I forgot, Texas Heat. Yeah, Texas Heat. Yeah. So, and um, it's a, this one, this, only this amp modified. This modified Dumbo. Fe what's the, what's the name? Can you write it down if you know Phoenix? Something special. Um, I forgot. Phoenix something. I don't know. Sonics, I don't know. I completely forgot. Anyways, this is a Dumbo mod. So like it almost like a Dumbo amp. That just because this song I recorded in California. And James Gadderson on drums and Larry Carlton's son, Travis Carlton on bass. Yeah. And Luke Miller on the organ. And great band. And also we have uh, special guests, Kirk Fletcher, three songs, and Josh Smith, three songs. And uh, yes, um, iTunes, Amazon, anywhere available, this one, uh, uh, where, um, Spotify too. So please listen to second track. Ju First track is just funky, you know? So yes, um, earlier I showed you like, you know, this, see, the amp. I borrowed from John Mayer. John is very nice. I emailed him before, you know, I went to LA. We were talking a lot of things and uh, and actually he moved to Montana and so he was in Montana, not LA, so we can't really meet. But then he emailed me back says, don't you need the amp? Would you like to borrow any of my amp? So I said, yes. So anyway, that's a long story, but so anyway. Yeah. So that, yeah, I borrowed it. So, so that track you hear, this guitar, 1965 strap. Yes, all original 1965 strap. And um, yes, direct to the amplifiers. So right now I'm running to um, first channel, no reverb, but just right now on board the reverb here, Lee Jackson, Mr. Mr. Springy. And then I have a Prussian blue reverb from one control. I mix two, so like I show you, this is no reverb. Right? Now, now um, first reverb is Mr. Springy. See, this is more like a spring reverb. Natural, right? So this one a little bit more like studio quality. It's I, I said really long version because like a studio. C long, right? So now this is short. This is long. Ha. Ah, two is better than one. Now so rhythm guitar parts, right? Go really simple. D as a one, B minor as a six. So why, why, por qué? Six. Why? Because B is number six from the D, D scale, D major scale, right? D, E, F sharp, and go on, and then, yeah, so that, so like B minor, six, six chord. And then what is a four? What is four? G. So originally, okay, like that. But then I arranged it. So, same thing. So 
I change third times. So now this one, unique. You have to learn this one. I use a lot of this chord. Okay. So basically your second thing on a C sharp. Okay, C sharp. And then you have A and E and A. Means this is a one, five, one, you know. It's a power chord. Power chords, okay, A. Then this is a third. So basically A and a third chord. Then B minor, then a little bit more original one. Usually go to two minor, which is E minor seven. But I went to dominant because gospel and R and B often we go to the, you know second chord as a dominant. A little bit more gives you um, power because if you go ta 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 da 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 ta da ta ta that's good. That's original. Then this one, I think it gives you a little bit more energy, a little bit more positive feeling. Okay, then. Okay, so now you understand the chord progression and the next one, the solo, melody, especially. Right here. So you see, if you see, think more like a major pentatonic pattern, you can think like Allman Brothers. That's good. Right? So, what, what is minor pentatonic, pentatonic? Where do you play? This is minor. That's, I think, a problem. Just because you're just shifting the same shape. So, like, millions of people you can do in five minutes later. So, very difficult to make a great guitar player with this way. Don't you agree? Because too fast. So, if you think this. That's okay, that's one way to do it, but then you have to think a little wiser than other thousand people next to you, you know. So this way, say blues scale. So this is what I do. I play the same place. I don't go to 
this is ordinary pentatonic position. You know, millions of people play it. My students play this way. That's what I teach. Not this. This way. So, the first way, shift half set, flat five, four, flat three. This is key. After that, you have to do this major third. Even pentatonic. That's not pure minor pentatonic, really blues phrase. Blues phrase means pentatonic sounds, but major third, you know, a minor third, you push a little bit like that. Very exciting. So you can okay. So like work on this phrase, right? Right? This is one. This one, BB King. Usually BB does like that, okay. Now so what I do push the notes, okay? So you push uh five into flat seven. Then here's the important If you do that major, then too happy. You have to make a little bit not angry, but just a little bit more meaningful. Not, it's almost as if not, today nothing happened. I'm happy. It, always something happened. A lot of stuff. Tough. Life is tough. You have to make life is tough sounds, sounding phrase. See? That's not too happy, right? So that's why major pentatonic if you think a shape minor pentatonic it's too happy too sad you don't you have to mix it that's life you know you have two sides then i go the notes i after i hit try to use bending little bit vibrato and think about feeling more like i want to have more you know so if you listen to the recording um my notes sort of a broom like would get bigger and of course because dumbo amp does that not just a fender amp you know so here play my own phrase it's difficult so you know you practice
what do you think? Please leave your comment here in the below. I would love to read your comment. And then please give, give me your feedback about you know, this video or a different video. Like last video, I showed you how to uh, write a number system 005006-21. You know? So that way you can go back to, hey, Tomo, I liked 004 uh, video and if you ask me some question, if something come up, I can make more detailed videos. I think everyone, YouTube, amazing guitar teachers, so many great, 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 great um, guitar teachers, you know, and uh, everybody teaches kind of similar things, different things, and we can repeat things. No worry, we can repeat more and more. I think that's really great way because I love to review. Review things, I think, best way to you learn every day. You have to do a little bit routine and you have to record yourself because if you record yourself definitely you learn something like for example i record myself album and the first time i have to make a little demo or practice melody i record the first time maybe i don't like the phrasing maybe next day i change the phrasing something like that i think record yourself and you listen to you figure it out and so many possibility so many things to do with the guitar guitar is i think really lovely thing really really amazing and i really thank the guitar and thank to you and uh okay i think i think you got it right introduction okay introduction chord progression melody a little bit about minor pentatonic major pentatonic mixed together i hope you liked it all right great See you soon. Take care.